Hey, what's up fam? Today, we'll be doing a cast testing video on a super duper windy day. I mean, look at this. I mean, you guys probably could have seen it right behind me. Look at those trees. Trees are moving, but guess what? Time is very limited these days. So, two things. First and foremost, you probably noticed that, hey Jimbo, where's the unboxing video for your cast testing video? I got this new reel right here from Lingo, I think, I-N-G-L, or maybe that's the real name. It's from potentially Shinghei, not a CDM reel. And uh, the reason why I didn't do the unboxing video is because the real test already unboxed it and I watched it. I thought it was a pretty good video. A lot of things I said I have agreed on. So if you guys want to learn more about this reel, you guys can check out that video on the top right hand corner. Of course, we'll talk about some of the specs, right? But we will do so after we do the cast testing video. Now, let me show you guys what I have here today and let's get started. All right, so here's the sexy reel. I got some braided line on here and I'll show you exactly what braid I'm using. I have Varivis, the high grade PE line. Thank you, Bait Finesse Empire for sending me this awesome spool of braid. I've been using this for a while for a couple uh, spools. Uh, you only put so much on it. So this thing has been lasting very, very long. I think I'll probably use it one more time. But anyway, super thin braid line. Um, this one I believe is the 10 pound. Should be 10 pound. I left the link in the description below if you guys want to purchase this. But anyway, let's talk about this reel here. This is a new CDM BFS reel. It does uh, basically copy the same thing of the other CDM reels uh, that uses the FTB braking system. And I open up the side plate for you guys to see. Check that out, okay. One thing I want to note is that this freaking bearing is caked with oil. You see that? Well, grease. I don't know if it came uh, in that way or potentially from shipping or, you know, warehousing. If it melted from the inside here and got onto bearings, who knows? If you look at the other bearing, the other bearing is pretty clean. So I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt that they did not cake it intentionally. All right. So, yeah. Got the uh, Surinoya, the C47-2 Ultralight. This is the Aries rod. Let's do some cast testing, shall we? Well guys, as you can see, I am hiking right back to my cast testing pod. There are still some wind here. You can see the trees are moving very crazy to the right. But on the left side, it seems a little okay. And I'm looking over there. I see some kiddo walking over there. I don't think I, I don't see any fishing rods. But it looks like that side. Oh, he just walked right in the water. Holy smokes. All right, he's probably going in there to get some fishing lures or something. But yeah, I think I want to fish that side. That side looks a little bit more promising. Yeah, he went to get something. All right, guys, back to the OG spot right here. All right, put down my book bag, got all my gears, and let's start casting towards the water fountain. Now, earlier I had this thing at the three. It didn't really go too far. So I'm gonna put this thing to like two. And yes, it feels like definitely a lot less wind. I was casting earlier and like my line was like bending. Oh, that is way too strong. And uh, I thought I was uh, I was casting very softly. All right, maybe two breaks is too low. So this is what I'll do. I'll go to two and a half and we'll try again. And uh, as you guys see, so far the line doesn't seem like it's trapping inside over there. I can see a huge gap. So this line could definitely go in there, but because I didn't put that much line in there and I don't think my, uh, braided line, they, they spring up like a mono or floral. So it doesn't really get pushed left and right as it's you know, doing its backlash thing, right? So, uh, so far it's safe. But yeah, anyway, let's try to cast again. We got to do a two and a half soft cast. All right, so the line is not bending anymore, but I feel like this reel, maybe because it's cake with oil, I might have to cast a few more hundred thousand times to uh, break it in, the bearings. Accuracy is there, but uh, the distance is not what I thought. Like this, this lure right here, three gram lure, I usually go pretty far. So um, yeah, let me cast one more time, see the accuracy, and I will probably put it back down to like closer to two. Like one click above two. And let's try it again. Oh, nope. Jeez, that's just one click. I've been trying to um, cast it with the same power, you know? And um, yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, let me fix this and let's try again. All right. I'm telling you guys, um, it's an interesting reel. Very interesting reel. 
But that little boy right there was running around. He caught a turtle. Oh, 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 backlash, backlash. He, oh, he just jumped in the water. He jumped, he... What? Dude, that boy is savage. He's a pro at turtling. He's the new uh, turtle guy. Oh, what was that guy on TV, Animal Planet? I, it's, I have like brain fart right now, but he was like catching snapping turtles and stuff like that. Holy smokes, he go like yee, 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 yee. But yeah, interesting, he got two turtles now. All right, so I feel like, um, yeah, this is very interesting reel. It doesn't feel like a Corrado. It doesn't feel like a out bearing. It's casting very weird. I would expect this thing to go a lot further. I know the wind is blowing a little bit that way, but it doesn't go that far. And the braking is like, you go from two to two and a half. It's like a totally whole different story. This is on two and a half right now, I think, right? Nope, um, it's one click under uh, three. So it's like three clicks into two. And that is pretty accurate. And it does have a little backlashy, so I can't really use that. Yeah, I, I, think, the, I think two things that's not good about this reel is that the bearing was caked up and they didn't use micro bearings. Standard size, NMB bearings. And um, yeah, the wind is blowing pretty strong right now. All right, I'm at two and a half. I think I got, got it down. That's it, that's accurate and it's pretty far, but it overspooled a little bit because I tapped it a little too late. So let me just fix that part and reel it back into this part right here because that's where I approximately grabbed it. All right, let's turn this baddie on and let's measure. All right, here, reset. Sixty, we got sixty here. Let's see. Oh, fifty. Uh, wow, Jimbo was pretty close. Uh, if I crank it just a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I can't cheat like that. I, I knew I had a little bit more line than that. So yeah, it's like right under 60, but if I reel up all the way, it's, 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 it does say 60. So yeah, I am, um, huh, I don't know what to say. Maybe, like I said, maybe because the bearings have not been broken into yet, because it's cake pretty thick, right? Let's try something else. Let's throw a spoon. It's going to be a lighter spoon. It's going to be a 2.8 grams. And um, yes, it's more dense and yet compact. It should make the bearing scream, right? And potentially dissipate some of that oil. And let's see how that goes. Here we are. This is my little spoon from Yapada. 2.8 grams. Let's give it a shot. All right. Um, I'm going to leave at two and a half breaks. Oh, yeah. That definitely goes faster and almost spool myself. I think I should have added more line, but I didn't anticipate using this for like anything super far and I will put leader on it eventually. So I think I'll be okay. So let me just get this back in and um, let me fix this. And this time we're gonna cast for real, for real. Like typically with a spoon, the accuracy is pretty good. It's like I said, uh, it's small, compact and dense. So it flies far and accurate. So let's cast and measure. Wow, look at that. That is some good distance. All right, let's use some measurement. Get set, right? All right, oh, 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 stop, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. All right. Should be like 80 something. Nope, not even there. 70. Uh, okay. So yeah, this is 70 right here, all right? 70. Uh, my, my hand just moved it. It was 70.1. So not too bad, not too bad, guys. All right, when calm down. Calm down, pipe down. All right, next floor right there, Euro Tackle, 1.8 grams. Uh, jig head, which is 1 16th ounce, and the B-Vibe, total to about uh, 2.7 grams or so. Very similar to the, the spoon, but it's not as dense as the spoon, right? Not as compact. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Let's make sure everything is aligned. Got about three inches. 
Oh yeah. Oh. That was pretty accurate. And uh, I think I'm gonna measure that right off the bat. Like I liked it. <laughs> sometimes that's how it is, man. Sometimes that's how it is. Oh, good lord. That's what happens when you have a very, very thin rod and you still try to, you know, put something on to measure the line. All right, here we go. Do, 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 right about there. 63.7, kind of anticipated. I knew it was going to be uh, less than the spoon, but it was very close because the weight is very similar and this whole setup right here is pretty compact. I like it. All right, folks, the Euro Tackle Z Vibe, 1 16th ounce, so, so like what, 1.7 something grams? Oh yeah, let's check this baddie out. Okay, go to the left just a little bit. I might have to lower the brakes just a bit and try again and cast softer. So let me just put a little bit down. I really think that they had too much oil on here, the, the thick grease. There we go, a little bit more accurate, but I gotta time it perfectly before I tap, uh, tap the spool. But yeah, that's, this is pretty impressive. Right out of the box, I would say it's pretty darn accurate. Oh yeah, I gotta measure that one. And I knocked that turtle right in the face. Sorry, turtle. All right, let's get this thing going. All right. Am I gonna get 40? Dude, this is pretty good. 43, 43, very impressive. Way better than a GH100. Oh my gosh, you guys don't know how much I hate the GH100 from Fishman. This is good. This is very, very good. I can't imagine um, how much better it will be when I put on those micro bearings. All right, the next one, the EPF Swim on a 132nd ounce jig head. Whew, this thing is light. I think it's like 1.5 something grams. I forgot. We're gonna leave this at the two and one click brakes. Let's get ourselves some more line up. There we go. All right, that is actually acceptable distance. That is not too bad. I think I might just walk around a pond and fish this later. But of course, I think everyone wants to see the trout magnet, huh? Let's see how it does with the one gram. Oh, I let go a little too late for that one. So I went to the left a little bit. That's my fault. All right. Um, I have to say that it's shooting a little weird though. It, it goes out, but it's shooting a little weird. I mean, it, it's pretty much um, anticipated because it doesn't have micro bearings. And plus with the caked uh, bearings, it's not gonna be consistent, right? It, like I would love to clean it out first and put my own um, lube on it. But you know, Jimbo likes to do cast testing out of the box so you guys see how it does out of the box like you shouldn't need to tweak your stuff what what the heck i had something pick it up okay um but anyway let me uh, cast it out there and measure now i feel, feel like uh maybe even a two break will work hold on let me put it down two straight up two soft cast thumbed yeah two might be too low you see that i thumbed it pretty good at the right time and i still uh backlash so um yeah, I'm gonna leave it two and one click. And then we gotta measure. Like I say, man, these small little handle right here feels interesting. Like it fits my finger right here on it. And really, it's not too bad. Like if it was like uh, my frog and reel, I would probably want something bigger or something because I'm gonna squeeze it so hard. Like this, I'm not even squeezing, right? So it doesn't really matter. So let me uh, do this one last cast and measure. Oh, I felt a little backlashy. Just a little bit. Let me go back to right here where I grabbed it. All right, that's where I landed. It was my fault for not thumbing on time with the wind, but let's give this a shot, shall we? All right, let's crank it in. I say this was gonna be like 38 or something like that. Maybe. Oh, 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 39, 39 and a half. Close to 40, so it's not too bad. Really not too bad. Uh, I see that this have potential. I really wish this reel and a lot of other CDM reels that do BFS reels do 
put micro bearings right from the get-go. But uh, yeah, this, this is not too bad. I, I would say this may even go closer to 50 once we put those micro bearings in. So I am actually very, very excited. If you guys are excited for me to do another cast testing video with this reel, with micro bearings installed, smash that like button and let me know right now in the comments below. But let's put our last lure on, the infamous trout magnet at one gram. Let's do it. All right, here we are. The infamous trout magnet. Got it in pink. Pink, man. Let's go. Okay, went to the left. <laughs> you know what that means? It's definitely, definitely too light to cast, but let's see if I compensate, if I can get it straight. All right, I compensated, I got it straight, but uh, yeah, it didn't feel how I wanted to feel, but I'll measure for you guys anyway, because I'm sure you guys are curious, but typically when I have lures that, you know, coming off like that, that means the, the reel can't handle uh, lures that light, and I don't like to measure, nor do I say it passed the cast test, but since we're here anyway, and this is technically my last, Thing I'm throwing, I want to see how much it goes. All right, so let's go up a little bit more. Uh, almost 27 feet. So, I mean, if you guys are fishing very close range, I think that's still okay, but this guy right here most definitely, definitely need that micro bearing. So if you guys want to see that micro bearing, you better smash that like button and let me know ASAP because uh, fall is coming and I'll be extremely busy and I want to make sure I carve enough time for yourself as well as myself, all right? So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see this real upgraded. All right, let's wrap up today's cast testing video with my summary of how I feel about this reel's performance. But before we get to that, I would like to shout out to the Time Outdoor franchise on AliExpress for sending me this BFS reel to do a review. If you guys want to buy or learn more about this reel, feel free to check out the description below as I have left a link to their store and to this product. Anyways, the cast testing session was not too bad. It was kind of expected. It was a little bit sloppy due to the thick grease that was on the spool. In fact, let me just open this up, see if it's still there after I did uh, some cast testing. By the way, you popped this guy here. There is no twisting for this reel to open up the side plate. You just pull it right out. All right, so we have the spool here. And yes, as you guys can see, it is still caked with some grease. But I feel like it did dissipate a little bit. Likely what I could do is uh, if I want to keep the same bearings and if you guys won't be upgrading your reel with micro bearings, I do suggest cleaning out and putting your most favorite high performance uh, reel lubes and oil, well not lube, but you know, oil here and also the guy right here for better performance. I want to take a moment to shout out to my good friend Quack. He have sent me some of this here. Do, the do salon? I can't even pronounce that. But this is an awesome, awesome real maintenance lubrication kit. And um, yeah, I'm telling you guys, there's plenty of awesome, awesome product out there. I don't know what your favorite is, but I'll be playing around with this soon. But once again, Big thank you to Quack. You guys should check out his Instagram as he has some awesome BFS stuff. If you guys are into checking out BFS tackle reels and stuff, gosh, I think he has so much more than I do. <laughs> Seriously, he does. But of course, if you guys want to see the best performance out of this reel here, you guys have to switch to micro bearings. Now, I have not swapped to it yet. As you guys can see, I'm still, you know, in the early stages of testing this reel. So I don't know the sizes. If anyone have already upgraded their bearings for this reel, please leave me a comment below and let me know, uh, you know, what size this use. Couple things I want to point out. This spool weighs 7.3 grams on the website. I did not weigh it for you guys before I put the line on, but I believe when I actually weighed it um, off camera, it was like 7.1 grams. This is a pretty light spool. You have micro bearings on it. You guys are definitely, definitely gonna cast lighter lures and also any lures a lot more accurate and likely even further. Now, here's the FTP braking system. A couple things I wanna note about their braking system. First and foremost, right? Their magnet does not come out, the very end one, all right? I don't think I'm trying so hard, it's not coming out, all right? The Shimano's, you could take the last one out so you guys can reduce the amount of braking power because why? Well, if you think about it, if you have strong brakes and you're only using up to two brakes, well, that means you're not using from three to five. And if you guys remove it and make it a little bit weaker brakes, that means you have more fine tuning capabilities. All right, speaking about fine tuning, one thing I wanna mention about this reel is that I, hold up, hold up. Is this, Anyway, oh. I have a little bit of problem 
turning this a little bit. Like, see this? Like, you really have to put the nails in the right spot to get it. Like, if you got big, fat hands, fingers. All right. It's, it's actually difficult. Anyways, um, yep, use your fingernails. And uh, it's like four clicks in between each, I believe. Let's count them. So it starts from zero. Come on, get to zero. Is that zero? There you go, zero. One, two, three, four. There we go. Four clicks, right? One more time. One, two, three, four. Four clicks from zero to one. All right. Uh, in regards to the gap, right? So far, I haven't gotten my line through the spool into the reel, but it does have a a nice gap, you could say, or unpleasant gap. Uh, so don't backlash, guys. Don't backlash. So far, I've backlashed a few times with this reel, but uh, I guess because this is soft braid, it's not like a, a mono where it springs all over the place. It's kind of like, you know, wraps and folds on each other. It haven't really gotten a line into the side of sides yet. So I'm not sure if a line will get to the side, but fair warning, it does have, uh, I guess you say above average. You know, definitely bigger than uh, JDM reels, but um, it might be okay in the CDM world. Like I, I have, I've played with some that was a pretty horrid, but so far I haven't really backlashed to a point where the line have gotten in to the side of the reel. So that's a good thing. So yeah, guys, for a reel that copies the Shimano FTB braking system, I think it performed pretty good. And um, what is this? I think it was uh, yeah, five point six. Ounce, that is pretty light. I like it. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the video that I also like the handle. It's not too bad. And here's the sound of the drag clicker. And put it right here behind a mic. It sounds pretty good. And uh, I think because the handle is metallic, right? Uh, it, I guess if this was metallic too, uh, the click will actually vibrate to the handle a little bit better. But I do feel the vibration. It feels actually really, really good. Hold on, let me grab the Casking Zephyr BFS reel for one second. All right, so right here. That's the sound of the Casking Zephyr BFS reel. And that's Lingle. All right, so that's the two different sounds from the two different reels. What do you guys think? Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see this reel in the future videos. Things you guys can request will be pretty simple. You know, pretty much what I've been doing in the past for some of my other videos. For instance, um, upgrade this reel to uh, Michael Barron's and do another cast testing video. Do more fishing with this reel, you know, as is or upgrade it. You know, just leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see, all right? Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. The fish don't wait. Get your BFS gear ready for the fall.